Hello folks, welcome back to the channel, Farmer Evil Extreme here. Here we are on Erdenberg, this is a little German map, created by West Modding. It is 291.76 megabytes to download, and yep, yeah, it's a very short and simple description, and it goes as following. Welcome to Erdenberg, features 53 fields, 146.49 hectares, so I'm guessing that's the total. There are 3 yards. 12 production chains, 2 train systems, 4 points of sales, 86 plots of land, of which 13 are forestry plots. There are collectibles, and these are some unique collectibles. We'll have a look at those. And yeah, and it goes on to say, have fun in Erdenberg. So, yeah, not much of a description. Slot counts and that on Sort for Scratch and Farm Manager it is 112 slots. But that is with the equipment, so you can get a bit of this once you've gone and removed all of the equipment. But for us, as we are at the moment, slot count is 1319, and that is on new farm remote. And what do you start off with on new farm remote? You start with Defend 5.1c, the John Deere 7810, a new Holland CH 7.7 Combine Harvester, Along with a 25 foot 7.5 meter super flex header, got a little chaffer 23 e electric front loader, a 86 pickup, a Bratner Z1805-2 double XL power flex trailer, cultivators we've got the Rabi EG3-9, subsoils we've got the Agrizem Combi Plow Gold 3M. Cedars, we got the Nordstein HK25 plus NS3030. Chainsaws, we got the Steel MS261. Got a Hoy front loader along with a pallet fork, universal bucket, header trailer for the header. And we got a 750 kilogram weight, so this is the Team Winkle Pack 750. And lastly, we've got two buckets. Got a bucket and a bucket here. And yeah, those can be fined here. I'm not sure why though, I'm not sure. Yeah, they do have like, some capacity in that. So yeah, in terms with mods and that, yeah, really it's just the buckets as options. So yeah, the wooden bucket holds water and the second one holds pretty much everything you've got. And under build mode, there ain't many options, just some shit, so got some sheds and uh, for some reason these are a pain in the ass to rotate like there's no like fine control in that well there's fine control but there's no yeah like turn on free mode and that on yeah like all the rotations is like a couple of degrees at a time and this is without snapping this is pretty much what I would call snapping yeah, that's snapping on. That eight isn't snapping, but yeah, just rotating sheds are a pain in the ass, so yeah. Got a shed, big wind shed, shed old, and a farm barn. In terms with silos, you do have a bunker silo. You don't have one here at the farm, but these are ones for the other farms and at the BGA. So extensions. Do have a little small fuel tank, whole 6,000 liters. Under tools, you got nothing. Farmhouse, you got the Ehrenberg farmhouse. And yeah, like that one there. That rotates, no issues whatsoever. So yeah, I'm not sure about that. So yeah, that is that. Under animals, we've only got the cow barn, large, and yeah, this holds. A hundred cows, million the year feed capacity. Because of the solar panels, you get two thousand eight hundred and eighty bucks, euros, dollars, whatever per month. But yeah, it's nothing else under any other pens than that. Nothing under decorations. Landscaping, we do have some custom paint textures. So let's go to here. So you got various rocks. Gravel, plate, 
yeah, different kinds of like, animal mods before you go back to your like base game stuff. So you got versus of yeah, animal mod. Yeah, that's a different kind of gravel. And yeah, all sorts of that. So yeah, let's open the map up here a sec. So most of your equipment's gonna be here, like your John Deere, your combine that. And yeah, these buildings, these are yeah, not the best in that. And yeah. Overall, the map ain't it's not the worst of maps. If I had to categorize what this map is and what it stands for. Really, I see this as a German version of Oberun, like the base game map. Very well, I say it's very slightly modded. There are some little perks to this map. Yeah, doesn't deserve I think the bash it's had on the mod hub with the ratings and that. But yeah, we'll come to that at the end of the map tour, so I'll just figure out my way out. But yeah, so let's have a little look at the PDA in a sec. But yeah, the rest of your equipment is going to be in the sheds here. Don't think that one opens up. Nope. Yeah, it's just these ones here. So you've got your plows and that, subsoilers. I'll just turn off. Yeah, turn on our interactive zone markers so you can see where we're doing. So yeah, that's your trigger there to repair and repaint. Yeah, seat trigger is just up here a sec. Let's go to the farmhouse. So yeah, got your wardrobe. And got your bed for your farmhouse. Yeah, can open the balcony. And yeah, you can sort of barely just get through in that. But anyway, so I'm going to be a full on Debbie Downer of this map tour in that. Oh yeah, also we've got animals. So yeah, we have 30 chickens. And then over here we've got your horses. You can hold up to 16. And yeah, I think that's it for the main farm here. So, in a way, the best animals we've got chickens, and in a way, the ho worst one, the horses. And I say now, I think pigs are worse to do. But yeah, let's go to the PDA and have a look first of all. So, on new farm mode, you start with plot 9 and field 3, which is plot 6. Yeah, decent sized fields. Nothing else. And in terms of progression, that personally you're going to struggle. So, yeah, like field prices, they start off quite low ish. But they have very ex yeah, extrapolated. So, yeah, so field 1 or plot 3. But if it was me, I would be my realistic intentions, like one of these fields over here. But yeah, at most we're looking at 400 grand for like, the biggest fields. And downside is, like, there's no like teeny tiny fields. Like, at least you'll get about 80 to 100 grand for a field. Also, you got your meadows and that. And yeah, you also got other bits of land, so. That's your harbour area. That is going to be one of your farmyards. So it's fields or plot 36. And yeah, plot 18. So yeah, 36 is here. Plot 18 is just here. And that's going to be your. Yeah, so that's just your normal farmyard or farm plot. 36 is going to be your pig farm. Just looking at my notes here. So yeah, I've got a few notes here. A lot of it we'll explore as we go around. So yeah, I think first of all, what we'll do is I'm gonna head towards a yeah, first I head towards BJ sort of go clockwise around. I'm gonna stop off over here, right next to field six and plot eight. So yeah, I'm gonna stop over there a sec. Because there is a little gem over there, like, yeah, as I mentioned, does the map deserve the passion it's had on Mod Hub? I don't think so. But yeah, this map does have some little redeeming gems. So yeah, let me head to the BGA. I'm going to put some money in so we can actually purchase a lot of these areas. So yeah, there we go, we've got money in. Also, I forgot to mention. On new farm mode, because yeah, this didn't really pop up when I was testing that. 
you do have access to a vegetable patch farm. And yeah, it's nothing under greenhouses. Can't find it under productions or anything else like that. That would have been good to have. So yeah, what I've done is put a comparison in between the two. So yeah, that's the large greenhouse. It is mostly a one to one, two, two to one, and a one to two. One five three six seven six eight and one five three six. Same cycles per month. You get twice as much, yeah, twice as amount as that to mows. Letters one to two, two to one. So actually that is four times better because it's flipped the way around and double the cycles. Now for your strawberries it's a one to two, one five three six. So yeah, really it's only with the strawberries things you're using now because you're using the extra bit of manure. But yeah, for something like that, you're going to be using massive amount of manure. So yeah, as I was saying, let's head over to the BGA. Got our money in, so we are golden. And yeah, with the map, obviously the description doesn't go as detailed, so... Down here you do have a debris crusher and a water withdrawal point. Down here you got your inn along with your animal dealer. And then as you head towards the centre. Got a... I'm not sure what that is there, have a look at that. You got your great farm with a great vineyard, so you can actually purchase a vineyard. With a great processor plant. That's going to be your harbour with a fuel refinery that's been put in by the map maker. And then yeah, you got your sugar mill, you got your dairy mills, got your green mill up here. As you head into the town, yeah, got your the sort of dealerships and that. Got a noble mill, got your bakery and a construction site. And yeah, and as we head north, we've got another vegetable patch and a spinnery. So it is normal seasons and that. There's no nothing special about seasons. Prices are the same. So yeah, you can put your stuff on the train, get a little bit more profit, and they get taken to Felsbrun. Either that, or yeah, apparently Uber marked off, or whatever that is. But yeah, in general, you do have sell points for mostly everything, as far as I'm aware. Everything's going to be things like maybe serving that, not sorry, I digest it. But yeah, of course, use the Surrey Yard by Missy B. Can't go wrong. Or sell everything container by Schultz Modding. But yeah, whatever you should choose to do with that, as you wish. But yeah, overall, like, the map itself is actually, yeah, it's not jaw dropping. It's, yeah, it's a simplistic, beautiful map. There is, I'd say there's flaws with it, but again, it's not really flaws in a major sense in a way if that makes any kind of sense i doubt it does gone the wrong way to bj so we'll hook a left ear and we'll just go straight in that way so right as we head into the bga this is where you're gonna find the first of 11 collectibles and these are little hidden easter eggs so have a look at that Farm Simulator C64 version. You found the Farm Simulator C64 version. There are 10 more giant software games to be found. So, yeah, it's all the like Farm Simulator games. There's the Ski Region 2012. Of course, got yeah, FS09 in that. And I've also found Demolition Corp. So, Personally, I have found five of these 11, just doing tests and that. And yeah, sort of resting up a bit, having a bite to eat and that after, yeah, like the last 24 hours. So just getting videos out, like doing five or six videos in a 24 hour period and that. That's not even including doing, uploading the mega video of what I've done. But yeah, anyways, at the BGA. So yeah, to get this. If you have a little look, can you purchase the land? No, you cannot with this. So, you need to do is, yeah, like 
everything on this map is extremely expensive and it, again it's just how it is sometimes and that is what it is but once you've purchased you do have access to said land so let's say you want a better fairness what you paid for it you get one that is literally double the better yeah twice as better and you get a bit of change as rebate so as well but yeah, I'm not going to do that, obviously, on here, on Matt Tornat. But yeah, also you got your two bunk side clamps. Got your bits of dirt and that, bits of rubble going around. You also got like sword sheds and that for your equipment or whatever you have down here at the BJ. Oh yeah, you got like your network distributor over there. So yeah, that is that. So yeah, next we're going to head to the little area by Field 6 here, straight ahead of us. Actually, you know what? Let's go straight ahead. Because yeah, again, I was looking for, yeah, let me see if something that was that just doing. Finding the patterns of their tend to be around major cell points and that. Or major productions, and when I couldn't find that, I just thought, heck it. Let's look at it at the end of every path, so... But yeah, I will do the track and that to ask you back up and head to town, so do worry about that. So yeah, it is... Actually, not this one here. My bad, it is up here, so yeah, not the end to the path, literally. But seeing that, there are like a couple of little spots here and there where you can sort of set up a little homestead in the way, you know, have a bit of forestry and that. So yeah, there we go. So yeah, I was going to temporary park here for a sec. And this is next to your sawmill, which will have a look. But yeah, so yeah, I was going around, sort of, you know, doing tests and that. Awesome areas, and for a moment, I thought I was going to get absolutely stuck here. So yeah, so up here is actually you need to go down here, so yeah, damn steps. Again, just as a little side track this is, but this is clearly intentionally done by the map maker. Yeah, just a bit of picturesque, calm area in that. Just calm and relax. Or, if you want to go for a bit of exploration, we've got paths leading down here, so yeah. Let's go and little hop and skip. It is quite a um, bit uh, delusional in a way. You can go this way, but there's no way out. Yeah, like, try to climb the ladder, but there's literally nothing there. Head down here. We're trapped, so... Back through the hole. So yeah, that's the way we came in. Let's continue on further down. And yeah, clearly this is intentional because we wouldn't have this here otherwise. These little bits here. Let's go hop, skip these, hop, skip the boo. There we go. Yeah, nothing to get out that way. And yeah, over here. Through the little hole. And then yeah, through the rocks. And yeah, you shouldn't get lost because it's pretty much a straight way through. <clears throat> and there we go, we are free. Lost my voice there, so yeah. For just a little cove and that, in a way, just a little... Yep, yeah, it is a little side track and that, that's why I sort of skipped across. But yeah, next, let's head to Swordmill. So yeah, there we go, we're at the Swordmill, or the Shrine... Yep, yeah, nope, I'm not going to try to pronounce that. Hey, if it's Ramstein lyrics, you've got me. That near to get a shot of me there, so yeah, that's one of two trains, that is the smaller one, because it literally goes from, yeah, Uber marked off, and yeah, down to there, so that's a very small track. The one on the east side is the one that's more preferable. So yeah, purchase sawmill for 266 grand. Decent ratios and that, 416 to 560, and actually quite a bit of wood chips as well. 120 cycles a month, so that is in realms of like 42-ish thousand years a month. 
and a bit more obviously. One thing I don't like with these buildings and that, they like, aren't, aren't enterable, don't have that sort of immersion in that. But anyway, so your wood goes in here, and yeah, the wood will just roll up, and then Bob's your uncle goes scoot on in. And yeah, you'll select that like so with this. So yeah, again, similar to the one we looked at on the French map earlier on today, or earlier on last night. Depends on when you're watching this, I'm currently recording this at 3am, after taking a 3 hour break of having a power nap after not sleeping for over a day. But yeah, anyways, wood chips come out of here. Lovely jubbly. But yeah, overall, nice little details. Got a little ramp onto said train track so you can transport your... Or even just the logs themselves, if we want to break them down, say... Half the wood is for the sawmill, half the wood is for elsewhere. But yeah, as far as I can gather, there's yeah, again, yeah, just no entrances, which really arcs me off. That uh, is going to take uh, literally like half a point off, or half a star off, but yeah, overall, not too bad so far. So yeah, that is the sawmill. Next, we're going to crash into a tree. After we've done said crash into a tree, let's head to the town. Oh yeah, you know what, we can do a little cheeky cut through here between the fields. Hey, this is nature's highway, <laughs> that's how I look at it. But yeah, I know, like I've seen a few content creators already as I'm doing prep work on this and that I'm recording. Saying this is a bit of like a let's yeah, a bit of a let me down or that, but again you're gonna have that comparison from time to time with other mods and other maps and that. But still, it's an awesome map. In in German sense, you've got like huge fields and that. Lots of fields and that, so you can have lots of contract work. Just figuring out where I'm going. We'll hook a left here. Through another of nature's highways. But yeah, so we're going to head yeah, left and then yeah, we'll sweep around. Because yeah, I think this is our next two tools. Out of the way, not to disturb the crop too much. Yeah, hook the left ear, and then we'll be straight on for the, the map up there for the construction site. But yeah, we've got two collectibles here. We've got the uh, actually, no, only two actually, no, one actually, the FS09 collectible. So yeah, again, there could be more collectibles around. Again, I'm not looking for all the collectibles and that. Literally, just resting, I was bored, so I thought, okay, let's uh, have a look around. So yeah, let's park over here in a sec. Oh yeah, we should take more speed a little bit as well, because we're in the residential areas. So yeah, construction site, trigger is here. And this is a cell point. So yeah, let's have a little look, so construction site. It's things like your planks, anything you expect, so planks, probably wood I would say. Wood and that, maybe wood chips even. Actually no, nope. None at all on that. So yep, yeah, it is only stones and planks is accepted here. I'm not sure if you're using like things like the platinum expansion out with all the other stuff that like with prefabricated walls. Technically in sense that would work. But yeah again, so I'm gonna have a little quick look over here because I think I have not looked over here for any collectibles. Yeah, around this park here. So yeah, they generally tend to be near cell points or factories, but yeah, so sort of keep my eye on that corner there in case I miss anything. Nope. So let's go ahead into the vehicle. So yeah, just even the construction sites. So yeah, you can enter the building, but yeah, it's not really well detailed in that. Okay, I'll show it, but yeah, it's not the most detailed buildings. It's like literally, where's the stairs? Got one stairs here. I then got a nice, oh, what would you call this? Uh, uh, an open concept? Yeah, do a bit of parkour on that if you want to. 
We can actually use our nope. No magazines now or collectibles. And one thing. Yeah, it's turn that damn automatic where it is ignition off. So yeah, here is your bakery and down there is just location of your second collectible. So yeah, purchase a bakery for 15,000. In comparison to the rest, not too shabby. And yeah, you get breads and cakes. Yeah, the ratio seems yeah, pretty much exactly the same. And yeah, so next collectible is the FS09 version. And that is the building next to here. And it's located on the bottom right. And yet there is there on the window sill FS09 or LS09. So obviously since it's German, so it's LS not farm sim or FS. But yeah, nine more to go. Oh yeah, I'll show the ones I found on my way around, but Apart from that, I ain't show off too much. And then, yep, yeah, head over here. Actually, no, this is obviously your other one. Actually, this is the ski region simulator, so there we go, at the green mill. It's not the best one there because obviously it was covered by these pallets. Pallets, crates, or whatever you call it. So yeah, we've come for down here, up here now. So yeah, at the mill, this is just actually no, I don't think this one is. No, it's the other one at say production. And yeah, next we'll head to our fuel refinery and do your shipping at. That's where your spawn point's gonna be. And also, let's go and purchase all of the farmland. So we've got that one there. 18 and 36. So yeah, that's your two farmlands. Almost forgot to show off the spinnery. And yeah, I thought, heck it, let's quickly show off on how much land we can have for and how much. So in total, we spent 16.6 .6 mil on land purchase and apparently 1.6 mil on construction. I'm not sure what that is. Is it production is in that? I'm not sure. But yeah, overall terms with the PDA, you can owe relatively most of the map. So I think it's like, like, where it's got your spaces here, so for example here, you've got your debris crusher, so purchase that for 373 grand. And actually, good thing with the debris crusher is, you have that, so you produce lime, so a 1 to 1.5 ratio. 9600 years consumed per month, does cost a little bit. And requires a lot of diesel as well. But yeah, you get half of your stone back, so really all you're getting is basically it's a 1 to 3 ratio, in essence, plus diesel to run it. So not overall not too bad. I'm just going to switch these off, just in case. So yeah, that's that. So let's go to our other productions in a sec. So Head to the sugar mill, have a proper look at these as we come around on the map tour. So you could do sugar, sugar beet, cut. And yeah, it does require water and you get a bit of slurry out of it as a byproduct. So yeah, especially if you've got the Missy B, uh, what's it, slurry yards by Missy B and that. Sell that for a profit and that, get a profit from sugar and that or whatever you're using it for. Along that. Yeah, not too shabby, that's the thing, like, some of the productions have been tweaked, others, hey, yes, but not in the way you expected. So, which do I need to go to? Ah, it's over here, right? There we go, so yeah, purchasing the dairy for, yeah, 200, what was that, 87 grand? Get butter, cheese, chocolate and that. Yeah, 100 to a 50 ratio, so a... 2 to 1 ratio there. Uh, yeah, it seems right. I think it's just swapping off how many cycles and that from, you know, 15, 13 and 408 cycles a month to a 150 against a 130 with just less cycles per month. So, yeah, that is that. And yeah, let me just get the rest sorted a sec if needed. 
So yeah, that was that sorted. And yeah, it wasn't too many productions. I think it was like <laughs> just a great process and plant. But anyways, we'll head up to Spinner Range because get a little show of these productions as we're going past or nearby. So you've got a little string that flows down normally. A bit muddy at the moment, but I do love when we get like snow in that. It does snow over quite a bit. But yeah, purchase a spinnery for a nylon brand. Bit more expensive than base game, but yeah, ratio is exactly the same. 2 to 1, 14.40 a month. Sounds about right to me. Next, let's head back to the road. Ah yeah, start going into town itself now. So yeah, approaching the quote-unquote town area. So yeah, you've got your fill point and service here. Also, to the left, you've got a sell point for your chocolate, if you wish. I think that's pretty much the only thing we sell that you sell behind the garage at the moment. But yeah, dealership is just here. Gates are manual now, this automatic stuff. So yeah, dollar box is outside. Yeah, just generic interior there. However, we do have four bays to play from. So yeah, we've got three bays for your workshop, and one bay as a drive through ball, obviously jet washing that. Just go and pop that back. There we go, make sure you put things back as always. Don't just dump things around for the next person to come and clean as always. As I knew from various tier lists here on YouTube. So with the deer ship done, now let's head to one of your other farms you can have. So yeah, this is got pigs, I think. No, sorry, this is your cow farm. Cow farm. And also you got a chicken coop, so chicken coop, that looks very base game, so yeah, 360 capacity. And the cow barn. Yep, yeah, 100 cow all in that. Actually, how do they look in this one here, since this is a modded version? Obviously, I'm not going to do feed or anything, but... Yep, yeah, overall, not too bad. Actually, it fits in the pens and that. Oh, yeah, that's just because we've seen so many cow or calf huts recently. So, yeah, you've got two huge bunker slope clamps out to your right. And, yeah, decent sized yard. And, of course, if you don't like these, you can just up and remove most of these. I say most because, yeah. We go to our build mode. So, yeah, you can sell the cattle and that's not an issue. Bunker side clamps. You cannot sell those. Silo, yes, that's just a base game version. Can't sell the sheds or anything like that, I don't think. Nope, no options, no nothing. Yeah, normal stuff, fine. Anything that's customised or customised plates down. No heat there. Yeah, you can't sell though, so... If you truly want to develop this as your own farm net, you got to start on farm manager or start from scratch. And even then, you're not guaranteed to have everything removed. As it is sometimes with this, so here next let's head up north, so let's hook around here, we we'll go up and then back down, so ain't gonna be too bad for us. And you what, let's do a little hop and skip and yeah, join the track here and that. But yeah, like overall like the cedaring that is actually quite good. We want to go this way. Oh yeah. Uh, whilst we're here, head to our vegetable plot. So yeah, as we had at the main farm to start off with, if you're on farm manager or start from scratch, this does still remain as an option, just remind you folks. But yeah, so we've already purchased this. And actually this one is way better, this is double 
what we just looked at. So yeah, one to two. Go back to what we just looked at. One to two. Two to one. So that is four times better. So yeah, one to two there with manure. One to two with manure and same ratio. So this time that it remains the same. They get a bit of a bump in that. So there's a one to four ratio and double cycles. I was thinking, it doesn't make no sense. Like, what's the difference? And if you have something like that, make it as a placeable, please. Because, yeah, if I've gone on, on here and I don't like how things are particularly set up by the map maker, it's nothing, again, it's nothing against the map maker themselves personally or anything like that. It's just a personal preference. Have something like the vegetable farms as a placeable item option. That will, yeah, in a way for the map itself, it is game changing, it adds functionality to it. But anywho, we're at the green, well, green mill, yeah, we're at the green mill. Let's get the mills mixed up. So, yeah, go ahead and trigger that. Open doors. So, yeah, you got your wheat, barley, oats, sorghum, and that, and as mentioned, ratios look decent. And, yeah, a little weird little. Easter egg. That is a map of Erngret. Not Erngret. Is it Erngret? Yeah, I think it's Erngret or something like that. But anyway, so yeah, there's a little decent there. A little ma map of the area in that. So yeah, we're in Erngberg, so yeah, Erngret. So yeah, this is of course like based off the mixture of Oberu and the American Erngret map. At least that's how I take this impression of the map and that. Again, it's just my opinion that. My opinion can be wrong and... I'll say sometimes it's wrong, but not always. And yeah, once again, nice little shed snap play sound. But once again, no functionality. We have purchased the rights to this sand. We can't function it. And we can't sell it, so... Uh, yeah, that's, that's my frustration with this map, is the lack of ability to sell stuff in that. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm sure there's a reason for it, but still, it sucks. <laughs> yeah, it just simply sucks in that. Uh, yeah, got a little area over there for parking. And as we head down to the river, I'm going to take a little meander around the field, so... Yeah, taking the scenery in that, the overall's not too bad. Yeah, I was going to cut it a little bit. Got a lighthouse there to your left. That does not hold collectibles as far as I'm aware. So yeah, now we're at your dairy mill and your... So yeah, let's go and swing by here. Entrance is just here to your right and right. There we go. Let the barrier move up. Alright, that's your exit. This is your entrance over here, I always forget that sometimes. Oh right, you got to open it manually, it's not automatic. Fair enough, idiot's mistaken that. But yeah, overall, for like a little complex area. I do love the dairy mill in that. So yeah, trigger is obviously here, we already looked at this. Oh, no, no, that was the great processing plan. I was like, what was it doing? Raisins, but no, that's the next production down. And yeah, we'll head out of here. That's the way we came in. And yep, yeah, remember, we've got to raise these gates. Again, yeah, I think, yeah, a bit of constructive criticism. Uh, yeah. Make them automatic, like, make them like, kind of like motion sensors. I'm not sure how easy that is to implement, but yeah, overall, just again, little things I've mentioned in here. And uh, yeah, as I've mentioned many, many times before in my mod views, I am honest. Honest, firm, but fair, I say. Yeah, I know you're a small YouTuber, that's a very small content creator, but so yeah, trigger point there for your sugar and that. Once again, nice little complex. I have no idea what this is. 
actually, no, no, I know it is. It's going to be your Surrey output. And that's, yeah, that's what that's there for. I was like, why well, is there like a pit here with the sugar mill that? Yeah, that's your Surrey byproduct. So, again, little things like that, little things that have been implemented. I do love those, like, kind of initiatives. So, alright, so we're done with this island. Let's hop onto the highway and then uh, we'll reconvene across. And yeah, in a way, oh, it's that like hydro electric in a way or windmill turbines. Goes through the water and that, goes through a body of water. And so yeah, water cools it and then electricity goes down and out. We're going to have a little look at that because I have noticed something special about those. So yeah, as we're across bridge now, this is going to be your pig farm. Again, can't remove the pig pens, can't remove most of these stuff, but again, as it is, as the farm is, racing on how it is, how the mo uh, modern app makers has intended, I can't really fault it to be honest. Yeah, like honestly, I generally can't really force it too much, I mean, it just knows I'm going the wrong way. I think we can cut across there to head towards the docks now. But yeah, not spending too much time on the second yard, because it's pretty much the same as the first yard. Just with different options now. And there's a train coming in, actually fine enough, just in time for us. There's no access to cars and motorcycles, but this is a pickup, so we're exempt. Oh yeah, I'm going to be cheeky. I'm just going to just go hop on across. Just open these gates manually. Again, automatic sensors please. But yeah, so this is going to be your train yard and harbour and that. So you can input and output material goods here to and from the train. As and where you wish. Open that up. Got your little harbour yard here. So yeah, a lot of details and that, a lot of assets being used. But all that's being used is input and output. I think this door works. That one does. Does this one? Yep, the door doesn't. So yeah, you'll take your water as a one of many options from the river here. It does look a bit murky green, but again, that's just going to be the grass around. Anyway, so you do have an option to call the train from here. So yeah, no, that's all right over there. It's just in here. Around the corner, and let's head back inside. So yeah, it's just up here in this way. So yeah, it's around in this little crate area. Yep, rent the train for 600 bucks per hour. I think that's going to take some time to get here. But yeah, I've got a little container storage, not too shabby. So yeah, nothing real special about that, but what is special is what we're heading to now, which is all the way over here. And yeah, it helps if you're parked correctly in the right area, because now it's ruined the whole grand reveal. And all the way over here, we've got the fuel refinery. Of course, you can buy this for 180 grand, or currently still use it as a said sell point. So you've got various of materials, so your inputs here, outputs here. Purchase this for 118 grand. And from this, you can turn canola and sunflower to diesel. It is a 2 to 1 ratio, 24 cycles a month. So that is 24,000, 12,000 a month, so 6,000 litres of diesel produced per month for the refinery. So yeah, overall not too bad. Definitely, yeah, 600 litres a month. Unless you're using like the, what was it, New Holland Intensein or Intensein Combine Harvester, you should be fine for fuel net. And next, let's hook across and head to the Great Vineyards. 
And there we go. So yeah, just hop in across here. So yeah, this is our vineyards. So yeah, title box is here. So yeah, raisins and grape juice. Similar ratios as normal, I think. Input is here. And you can find your next collectible here as well. But also, you got a quite a large amount of vineyards. And how much did that cost? Actually, remind ourselves. So, yeah, the vineyard itself, 136 grand. So, yeah, give it a few years, it'll make itself worthwhile. But yeah, so hop along to this log here. And there we go, we've got Demolition Company. Seven to go. I know one more as far as, as I'm aware. Yeah, once again, got a nice little aesthetic shed house. Or, or yeah, it's a house, not a shed. Oh, trains here, didn't realize that. Oh well, we ignore that. Actually, no, let's go and return the trains to be responsible. So, yeah, just with a couple of errors we need to look at now, I'm going to head to the windmill because. Yeah, but once again, there's a nice little special area, like... Yeah, usually that sounds weird, or windmill being a special area. Well, actually, let's... Yeah, let's have a look at this first of all before you judge, so... Obviously, yeah, it's either powered by water or cooled by water or something. Yeah, I can't remember how exactly this all works. But yeah, as worth notice. There is a little space down here, and technically, since we own this, you can't just go whack town, let's pick something a bit smaller. Alright, right, let's go with something really, really small. Obviously it says close with object, but yep, if you want, you can place like a bunch of these down if you wish. Oh, bit of lag spike there. And you're wondering, what is that hole? If you haven't seen another mod review of this already. Yeah, this is literally a complete abyss. And the worst thing is, if you get stuck when it is like this, so when it is bum dry, you are screwed. So you'll need either someone to pull you out, or someone to fill this baby up. So yeah, head down the steps. Again, you can like, head down to the ground level from here, so hop down the steps if you wish. Which is the easy part. The hard part is <laughs> with the controls and that. Stay just, yeah, on course enough to climb up said stairs, you just jump down. And I'll climb even more, so got another two or so flights of stairs. Final one. And we are done. So yeah, we've got a dialogue box here option. There's no real other options or point to be up here apart from that. Just showing as well as no collectibles. But yeah, so if we go over here. I see that it says fill basin. So press circle. And what is happening? Not sure if you can see it from here, but see where that hole is? See that bubbling away almost from this angle? Notice the green sort of tinge? That this yeah this is filling up and yep I am just about the right height. However, to get a hold, we won't be at said right height. But yeah, this actually like, fills the basin up. And yeah, try to fast forward time. Doesn't do it. It's just timed on its own. But yeah, so we've got some submerged buildings now. Oh yeah, this only takes, what, a couple of minutes to fill up to the max? 
So yeah, this shoot after only a couple of minutes that is filled up to the top and yeah, for what we used to trigger that, so you can't trigger it to turn off and to drain, but I'm not going to be doing that so, because yeah, we need to get things wrapped up here. So yeah, let's head to our sheep pasture that you can find by field 47. So yeah, it comes with field 47. Well, actually, what plot is it? Is it plot 47? Uh, have a look. Yeah, plot 47. There's no actual field in that, or field number, but yeah. So yeah, let's go and hop over there a sec. And yeah, there we go. Got a little sheep pasture here. Holds 250 sheep. Yep, overall the little pasture area cost just over 200 grand. Once again, uh, yep, unremovable objects and that. But yep, got your feed, drink, and that inputs and that. So yep, 250 sheep. As you wish. And I'll say for the most part, actually not too bad. Make sure of lambs and that. Big enough field in that. Always got a barrier off the wall turn out in the way. But yeah, I mean the fence there as well, in fairness. So yeah, in terms with output stuff, your wall spawns here. As marked by the hazard box. But yeah, apart from that, that is the sheep pasture. And then finally we head to the Anadir ship at the inn. And this will fit. Yeah, find our final collectible for the day. And this is where we're going to wrap up the map tour and give my final and honest thoughts. So, yeah, there we go. Got your dollar box and that for your cow barn. Or whatever animals you have. And, yeah, similar one we had on, what was it? Agri Land recently, or whatever it's called, the other French map. And, yeah, got Alan itself points that accepts all your. Animal stuff like your hay, grass, silage, straw and that. And also I'm curious, does it take TMR as well? Just because the other map did, the new French map. Yep, yeah, could buy, well actually you can buy TMR, yeah. 2,200, you go fuck yourself for that. But yeah, still a decent price, for need two for a thousand years. Can't really complain. And then lastly, we head to the inn, narrowly avoiding traffic. Ah, yeah, this is going to be a sell point for some of your produce. Things like the milk and that, if you're not sitting on the train. Actually, the milk is actually worth a lot more at the inn, actually. Is that for everything? Eggs? Ooh, actually, say about the prices being seen. If it's at the inn or on the train, it is inflated by, yeah, at least 16, 18%. So, yeah, not too shabby. I will come here more often. But, yeah, so the final collectible is just behind here, up here, and boom. FS17. That is all I can find in that. And, yeah, there's still other six war. I haven't had a good chance to properly look at it. So our final thoughts of Erlenberg. Well, overall out of 5, I'm going to have to give this map a 3.8 out of 5, 3.75. Oh yeah, things like that are down. The lack of ability to remove stuff and that. That's half a mark. The limited in terms with what you can place down, things like with the shed issues and that, with it dodgy routine and sheds that you've got already put down, yep, make them removable and also some of the productions you're using, things like the vegetable, how was it, vegetable something, vegetable garden, yep, vegetable patch. Yes, I know we literally just had Mars come out that sort of made this redundant, but still. I would love to have this as a option to place down where and whenever you wish. And if possible, make the 
bit geeks and all barriers and now they automatic sensor and that but again I'm sure that's hard to implement so yeah I was gonna stick to what I know but yeah overall not too bad 3.75 3.8 out of 5 so way above average and actually it's pretty decent it's just the little things that lets it down and yeah I kind of get why people sort of is berate this mod already on the mod hub in that but anyways that's where I'm going to leave it today. As always, hope you found this map tour helpful and informative in some way, shape or form. If so, smash the button, feel free to comment down below. If you want to share some, please be my guest. If you're not subscribed to the channel yet, then please consider. But, for you to do, hope you're going to stay. But for now, this will be from our Ever Extreme. And, I'll see you all very soon.